Alright, people. It's Thursday night. 2012, August uh, 16th. August 16th. I worked today at uh, my day job. And I don't know. I guess I'm a weird bird, but I always thought that uh, my day job was sort of there to support the night job or the arts if you will and I love to play guitar and I love to sing uh, some of you know that that are subscribers others might stumble on this for the first time and go whoa um, I actually had sort of a rough day today and I really was looking forward to doing something fun tonight. I was trying to think of what I could do on a Thursday night that might be fun. I was going to go to an open mic, but I didn't have the guitar with me, so it's kind of difficult to do an open mic with no guitar. Unless you know somebody there might let you uh, borrow theirs, but that was not the case tonight. Tonight, I'm just chilling at the place of residence that I'm at, and... I have a, a, an acoustic guitar that I love. It's an Ibanez acoustic. Uh, it's blue and black. I just love it. I gotta find it. Um, yes. Yes, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I was... Um, it's beautiful. I... I bought it in Rutland, Vermont. Oh, that's off. That's better. Who needs a tuner? I mean, besides me. Um, I love this goose guitar. I'm, I've brought it out before to play it. The action was a little high, and I brought it down, and I, and it, I brought it down so much that I, I had to bring it back because it was just not good. Anybody who doesn't know the action is the height of the strings from the fretboard. Um, I've been playing guitar for a while. I'm 41 and I've been playing guitar since I was about 15. So that's about... That's 20 some odd years. And when I'm 45, I'll, I will have been playing guitar for 30 years. Oh my goodness, that's a long time. <laughs> thing I just made up off the top of my head. Um, I I know a lot of songs on acoustic. I know some 70s tunes, some 80s tunes, even some 90s tunes. Stuff like that. I don't know a lot of 2000 tunes or anything that's happened between 2000 and 2012. I don't like much. There's not much. I don't know what happened, but it seems like everybody's heart and soul just left. And it just turned into like... 
auto-tuned crap and and beats and and I guess if you like that kind of thing, that's great. I don't. I I like a little bit of heart and soul in my tunes. Once in a while, I hear a song that I, I it grabs me, and it's very rare that I do, and I haven't had much that I've heard. But I kept telling myself, YouTube is fun. I'm so thankful for YouTube that, that I can even come out here and, and do something. You know, I feel like I've, I've been this guy that's been writing songs behind the scenes and, and playing in cover bands, and, and I'm, I'm pretty good, but nobody even... More people need to know. I'm not saying that nobody knows, but I wish more people knew. And this is a way of saying... Hey everybody, look at me. I can play and I There's some confusion right now because when I was a young, young buck, playing drums mostly, I became pretty decent at the drums. Instead of sticking with the drums, the guitar was attractive to me. I spent a lot of time and and having an affair like with another instrument and I actually became pretty good at that to the point where I gave up the drums almost completely and I, I was on this long passionate love affair with the guitar and I learned scales and modes and comping and uh, some jazz stuff and lately I found myself in Whitehall again not being able to play much guitar and I had a friend Fred had bought this old beater drum set and it was sitting in his basement for a while and he, he, <laughs> the first time he showed it to me, he said, well, if we ever need a drum set, you know, I'll have one. And then all of a sudden, like, months went by, and no one was using this drum set, and it was sort of, like, not tuned. And I, you know, I, I know what I'm doing on the drums as far as tuning, so I asked him if I could just take it and play. And if I liked it, I was going to pay him. It was like a $300 drum set for a decent kit with some decent cymbals, but nothing top of the line. And uh, I played and I, I hooked up with a band in Fairhaven. And we, we, we did a gig together and it went pretty well. And now we have another gig together. So it's like, here I am stuck um, trying to choose between instruments. Between, between this which I love or you know and it's like I can do both but I don't want to be famous for both I'm not Dave Grohl you know I want to be proficient on one enough to just stay with that one like as somebody pointed out to me years ago major in one and minor in the other the problem was is the two compete with each other so that's my dilemma 
the the positive part is I have music software and I can go to the software and program the the software so the drums are proficient to the point where I could play bass and guitar over it and write my own songs and sing over it. I I always wanted to be Todd Rundgren, I think. <laughs> and uh, I've actually lived in a town that was right around the corner from where he used to live. So, you know, I don't know. I, I Part of me wants to go back there, but I don't have the money right now. So, <laughs> this is all I have to say. I'm up to 10 minutes now, almost 11 minutes, and I, I, really, I really should wrap this up. As Dave, Le Dave Chappelle would say, wrap it up, wrap it up.